Good morning. I'd like to speak a little bit again about this book. It's also been translated into a larger volume, but I don't find it as uh, useful as this version. But anyhow, on page Roman numeral 19, there's a foreword by Zheng Guang Zhao. And the second paragraph I'm going to read to you right now because it's very interesting. I found this quite remarkable and said to our teacher that he was not only good at fighting arts, but also skilled in healing arts. In answer, our teacher lectured us saying, quote, all of the martial arts in the world originated with Dhamma. Yu Wu Mu of the Song Dynasty looked back to and combined the essence of the two classics written by Dhamma, the muscle tendon changing classic and the marrow washing classic to create Xingyi boxing. No matter whether you look at it straightforward or roundabout, complicated or confused, it all comes down to using the intention to create form and using form to create chi. This is the essence of what I've learned. Um, let's look at the concept of the combining of these arts to add the muscle tendon changing classic to Xingyi boxing. When we stand in San Ti, we can have a lot of different intentions while we are doing it, depending on what we are training. You can refine your training in this standing by the application of the seven words and three aspects. So there are seven words that you can apply to your Xingyi Santi posture to bring it to a higher level of comprehension and understanding. The first is ding, to raise up or lift or press up. And the second is kol. It's often translated as to hook or to button. In this case, we mean more like to seat or to secure downward. So, if I am doing the first of the muscle tendon change from the second set, I'll stand in a shoulder width stance with my feet flat, uh, my hands flat rather, and level, and the arms naturally hanging. I'm going to inhale and draw the palms of the fingertips up, and then I'm going to exhale and press the palm down while still having the intention of pulling the fingertips up. This exercise is practiced 49 times. Now, if you're standing in San T, a lot of times people's hands are sort of flaccid and are hanging, and they're not using the ding. The ding for the first word is to raise the fingertips, the crown point, and press the tongue to the roof of the mouth. To seat or co, we co the wrists, the shoulders, and the feet. Now, let's just look at the hand. You ding the fingers while coing the wrist. So the fingertips pull up and back while the wrist extends down and away. And we push our body back into posture and hold this tension and this is a way to train the muscle tendon while still doing just santi i will be continuing to talk about the seven words and the refinement of xingyi chuan